The US has sent more than 300 M2A2 Bradleys to Ukraine, but many have been lost in combat. Soldiers of Ukraine fear Donald Trump will leave them without replacements if re-elected. As The Times writes, US military vehicles are holding back the occupiers, but it is unclear for how long. Most Russian equipment is no match for the Bradley, but Ukrainian forces are still being pushed back in the Donbass and the Russians have advanced rapidly six kilometers over the past seven days toward the important garrison town of Pokrovsk. It is the last city in the Donetsk region before the border with the Dnipropetrovsk region. Once home to 60,000 people, the Russians have changed their tactics to fight smarter, using intelligence to attack weaker units holding Ukrainian lines. The elite 47th Brigade, equipped with American Abrams tanks, Bradley and Paladin artillery, finds itself constantly flanked as increasingly shaky Ukrainian units are forced to retreat. Putin's airborne assault troops are now just 20 kilometers from Pokrovsk village within artillery range. Russian planes are already bombing the city daily, destroying schools and kindergartens in densely populated areas, assuming that Ukrainian troops are stationed there. On the front line around the village of Gradovka, Bradleys are being used in surgical fire missions to try to hold back the advance of Russian infantry. The US has sent more than 300 M2A2 Bradleys to Ukraine, largely as part of an effort to help Kyiv rebuild territory during its counteroffensive last summer. But after more than a year of intense fighting, many have had to be sacrificed to repair others. Soldiers in the 47th are concerned that Donald Trump's likely re-election as US president will deprive them of key vehicles and ammunition. The Bradley is being called in to evacuate infantry from Russian sites. The vehicle's armor has proven more resistant to drone strikes than the legendary M1 Abrams, which is rarely used now. Even when the vehicles are disabled, the crews usually survive. These vehicles have saved hundreds, if not thousands, of Ukrainian lives. The Oryx team has counted 93 Bradleys damaged, destroyed or captured to date. Crews say they desperately need modern, updated versions of the fighting vehicles, which include 360-degree cameras and Javelin anti-tank missiles. And to reverse into a trench to extract troops, the Bradley commander has to stick his head out of the commander's hatch to direct the driver, exposing himself to enemy fire. In the trenches of Donbass, the US elections have become a topic of conversation as the troops concerned fear they will be left without equipment and weapons. In Karelia, a temporary sand dam installed for the duration of reconstruction on the White Sea Baltic Canal has burst, the region's governor Artur Parfenshikov reported. The accident occurred on July 29th, in the Segeski Municipal District between the 10th and 11th locks of the White Sea Canal. According to journalists, the flood zone affected the village at the 11th lock of the White Sea Baltic Canal, where there are 14 houses and 51 people live, as well as the gardening non-profit partnership Baltic. Rescue services are working at the scene of the incident, a state of emergency has been declared in the Segeza district of Karelia. A little later, according to journalists, Two of the missing were found alive, a man and a child. The victims have scratches and lacerations. Their lives are not in danger. According to the Karelia Department of the Ministry of Emergency Situations, three houses were destroyed as a result of the accident. Nineteen units of equipment and 76 rescuers of the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations have been involved in the search. The Airmobile Group of the Nevsky Rescue Center and the main directorate of the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations for the Republic of Karelia, as well as the Mi-8 helicopter of the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations, are being put on alert, the statement says. The Telegram channel, Podyam, published a video from the scene of the disaster, which claims that houses were washed away along with people along with a temporary bulkhead. In turn, TASS reports that 13 houses were destroyed. The head of the Segeza district, Marina Gusiva, told the agency that the number of missing people has risen to seven. There was no road. There was no road. There was a 
Вот по тем условиям наш эскалатор.